Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this pellet. Um, it's so easy to make and it's so soft and look nice. I hope you like this uh, pellet. Uh, for this, I use this yarn. It's Kartopo Punto Kids. It's a size 3 yarn, I think. One of them is 290 meters. Uh, I used less than one ball of yarn. Uh, that's the remaining yarn and this is um, adult size. But you can make it any size, of course. It recommends 3 mm hook. But I use 4 mm. And that's not the same color. Uh, I want to show you color 2. I'm not sure if you can find this yarn. I'm not. Uh, I couldn't find them online now but I just show you if you want to try and if you are ready please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's start I will start with a magic ring but if you are a new beginner and uh, you don't want to start with a magic ring if it's too hard for you you can start like that make a slip knot and chain four insert into this first stitch take a yarn make a slip stitch and now work into this little space here you can start like that but magic ring is not too hard also. Hold this yarn with your finger and wrap this around your fingers like that. And hold it with your little finger here. Insert your hook from here and grab this yarn. Twist it one time. Take the same yarn and make a chain. And that's our magic ring now. Yarn over. Insert into this ring and we will make nine half double crochets. Grab the yarn, yarn over and pull through from all these loops. Yarn over insert here grab the yarn yarn over and pull through from all the loops three four five six seven eight and nine Close this magic ring and I want to count one more time because last time I made a mistake. <laughs> this time <laughs> it's okay. I will insert into this first stitch here. If you want to close this magic ring tightly, just take this two yarn yarn over pull it and make a slip stitch again yarn over with this two yarn make a chain and you can leave this tail now make one more chain yarn over insert into this first stitch and we will make two double crochet into every stitch. Insert here, grab the yarn. Yarn over, pull through from two loops. Yarn over, pull through from second two loops. 
uh, and this uh, doesn't count as a stitch, this two chain. So we will make one more here. We have two double crochet now. Into the next stitch, make two. Into the next stitch, make two. And make two. In the end, uh, I will have totally 18 double crochets. I'll just keep going and make all of them. I made my 18 double crochets. I'll count one more time. Yes, and I will insert from this first stitch, not into uh, this uh, two chain, into this first stitch and join with a slip stitch. Chain one and loosen up your loop a little. Yarn over, we will make puff stitch here. Yarn over, insert your hook here. Pull up a loop, yarn over, two, and three times. Just take a yarn and pull through from all these loops, then make a chain. That's the first one. Into the next stitch, I will make one more. One, two, three. Pull through, close with a chain. Into the next stitch, make one more. Close with a chain. Put one puff stitch for every stitch you have totally. It's 18 as you know. Uh, just make all of them and I'll see you at the end. I complete my 18 puff stitch. I will join from here. And I will insert into this first uh, space, chain one and loosen up a little again. Make a puff stitch here. One, two, three. Close and make a chain and make one more puff stitch in the same place. Two, three. Okay, we made two puff stitches here. And into this next space, I will make two double crochet. One, two. Into the next space, I make them between two puff stitches. Make two puff. Close with a chain, make one more. Into the next one, make two double crochet. And that's our repeat. We will make two puff stitches here, two double crochet, two puff stitches, two double crochet. Just repeat this, I'll see you at the end. I complete this row with two double crochet here and join with a slip stitch and make one more slip stitch insert here if you look closely you can see we have nine line one two three four five six seven eight and nine Okay, we will always keep this line and now chain one, just loosen up your loop a little, make a puff stitch here, 
close with a chain and make one more pass stitch. We will always make same uh, thing here and here and here. From now on we will always make here um, one puff stitch, uh, one chain, one puff stitch and a chain again. And now we will uh, make increases here too. We will always make increases. How to make it? Just insert here between this double crochet and this puff stitch. Make a double crochet and we will make back post double crochet here but not a regular back post. How to make a regular back post? Insert your hook from here around your double crochet give your hook to the back again. Wrap the yarn and make a double crochet. We will make the same thing but we will make it from this stitch. Insert this stitch here and insert into the next stitch. Just take the yarn, make a double crochet. I'll make it one more time. Insert here Insert into the next stitch, make a double crochet, and here make one more double crochet. I totally have four double crochet here now, and between these two puff stitch, I will make two puff stitch, three, close it, one, two three, close it. I will put a double crochet here, make two back post double crochet around the stitches. and make one more double crochet between this double crochet and puff stitch and make two puff stitch and this are repeat for this row just keep going like that I'll see you at that I made my back post double crochets and I will make one last double crochet here and join from this stitch Make a slip stitch, chain one and loosen up. Make two puff stitch. Again, we will make the same thing. One double crochet here. This time four back post double crochets. One, two, three, four, and one more double crochet here. Make a puff stitch. If you want, you can make this puff stitch bigger. It's up to you. You can make them with four loops, uh, five loops. One, two, three. Close it with a chain. Make here a double crochet, four back post double crochet. And one more double crochet. It's totally six now. Uh, and I will keep uh, making like that. Just uh, put your uh, two puff stitches here and just 
make your back possible crochet and make two increases in every row. I'm not sure how many rows I will make now, but I plan to make it um, 8 inches long if you um, measure it uh, like that. If you measure it from here, I plan to make it uh, 4 inches long. Just keep making, I'll see you uh, again. I complete my rows. If you count from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, totally 10 rows. I made a, it's a little more than 4 inches and it's a little more than 8 inches, 8 and a half inches. I made it a little more. <laughs> because uh, it seems uh, not big to me because <laughs> I'm making this for the first time and I think that will be enough now we will make the same thing again but only difference is we will not make this increases you see that corner uh, that look I don't like this look uh, so I want to make here round. I want to make a circle, nice circle. So insert here, chain one, one, two, three. One, two, three. We will not make a double crochet here. We will just make back post double crochet. Insert into this first stitch, this double crochet's first stitch, and uh, it go out into this second double crochet's stitch. And make it for all the way three four five six seven eight nine Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Do not make any increases here too, and make two puff stitches. And keep making this. I'll just make this uh, for two row with this or three rows. I'm not sure right now. Um, I'll just make and turn. I complete my rows and it's more than 10 inch long. 10 and a half we can call it like that. 27 centimeters long. I made three rows uh, without uh, increasing and now we will make some decrease insert here and make your puff stitch one two that's the first one and second and now how to make a decrease it's so easy actually i will just skip this first double crochet you know uh, we are starting from here uh, to making our back post double crochet we will skip this first stitch and insert into the second stitch 
here. And make your first double crochet around the second stitch. And then keep making your double crochets. Eleven, and that will be the last one for me. I will skip this one. So I will not make anything here. I had uh, fourteen double crochets, and I have twenty now. I will make past these again. I will show you one more time. Skip this one. Insert into the next stitch here. And starting from here, make your double crochets. And I'm at the end, I will make one more double crochet around here. I have two, four, six, eight, nine, uh, ten, and twelve double crochets. And make the puff stitch again. Just keep making like that. I will make this row and I will make one more row. Only two row with uh, decreases. Okay? Just finish this uh, two rows, then I'll see you. I complete my uh, decreasing rows, two rows. It will look like that. And starting from here, I will make uh, four or five rows uh, without increasing or decreasing like uh, we did here one two three I will start from the first one and I have 10 double crochets now. Make my 10 back post double crochet again. I will make past this. Just keep making like that for four rows or five rows. I'll uh, be back in a few seconds and tell you how many rows I made. I made four rows without decreasing and now I will make one row with decreasing. I will skip this one insert into this next make a double and keep making mm. 
in this last one I have eight double crochet I will not make a thick, uh, anything here and I will make puff stitch and I will just um, repeat this I'll make this row like that I'll see at the end of the row I complete this row too now we will make the brim and it will look like that but don't worry about it when you wear it it will look beautiful okay it must be uh, look like that if it look looks um, like a perfect cycle uh, when you make this brim it will not fit your head okay chain two don't count this uh, as anything now we will make a uh, back post and front post double crochet we will use this uh, puff stitch too I will start with two front post yarn over insert your hook like that insert your hook around this puff stitch from right to left just grab the yarn and make a double crochet and I will make it one more time last two stitches I will make back post double crochets but this time I will not use this stitch I will make it like that just insert your hook around this double crochet give it the back again make a double crochet I make two front posts two back posts then I will make two front posts then two back posts and we will keep making like that when you reach here I made two front posts here and I will make two back posts this time one and two then make two front posts important thing is here uh, your stitch must be multiples of eight uh, sorry four um, I have 90 stitches so it's not multiples of four and somewhere uh, it's not important uh, you can make it any place I will skip only two stitches I can make one of them here look I made two uh, front post double crochet I will skip this one yeah starting from the next I will make two back post double crochet then two front post double crochet two back post double crochet one and two two front post double crochet I will keep making like that and when I reach here or here I will skip only one more stitch so with this way I have multiples of four I will finish this row and uh, show you I'm at the end and I will finish with two back post double crochet I made one more uh, I skip one more stitch from uh, somewhere here and I will join from this first stitch chain two again and it's easy now 
I will start with two front post double crochet, then make two back post double crochet, two front post, two back post. You can see your stitch right now. Make front post to front post, make back post to back post, and just keep making like that. I'm not sure how many rows I will make now. I'll make it and turn. I made totally five rows one, two, three, four, five. Yes. And uh, I made my last back post double crochet. I will not join here. Just loosen up your loop and cut this yarn. Take a yarn needle. Insert your needle into this first stitch here and insert your yarn needle into this last stitch close here like that then hide this tail And that's it. I hope you like this tutorial and this hat. If you like, please don't forget to push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Sirin's Crochet is my Instagram address, you can reach me there and it's also my Pinterest and website address too. And uh, that's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day.